guys, Mark from Gunpla Network. Thanks for joining me for another review. Today I'm reviewing the RG Tall Geese. This is number 28 in the RG line. Big thanks to Mike and Lance, guys at robocity.com.au for sending me this kit for review. Uh, it's great, I love it. Um, I've kind of left it standing there at the moment in the, uh, the beam saber held pose. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to pose it, probably with the Doba gun slung to the back I think. Um, I haven't reattached it since the uh, the first look review, so there's the uh, Doba gun um, just off to the side. Uh, what can I say? Uh, this is my year of real grades I think. Um, I've assembled three last six months or so and this is my fourth and I'm, I'm loving it. Um, people sometimes give RGs a bad rap. This is definitely not going to be one of them, but it has the potential to be if you're not careful. So let's uh, let's get into the review, shall we? So first up, we're talking about the overall look. I uh, I think this is a good looking kit. Uh, the only thing I had a problem with, and I mean, I, I haven't built any MGs or if there's a HG of this, I've never looked. Uh, I, that's why it's really lucky this year they released the RG because I do love the design of the tall goose, but uh, overall, I thought maybe the head, slightly slightly bigger um though maybe it is the right proportion i'm i'm not 100 percent sure i need to look at some other kits and check but um overall i'm pretty happy with the overall look of the kit now i haven't used any of the stickers really just a few of the metallic ones that go on the inside uh i wasn't intending on painting the inner frame of this kit uh the dark plastics there's like a a blue gray and a dull gray um kind of kind of look which are the the darker gray is around there their frame the hands backing covers uh, and then the light gray on the inner frame um is okay I'm, I'm completely fine with that uh but where i i didn't use a whole heap of the stickers because um and i'm not sure if you would have noticed in the uh the unboxing but um there is a large like surface amount of clear around them so you will need to like on the bigger ones you will need to cut those down in order to make them uh, look better and probably flat coat or gloss coat after this just to uh to make sure they stay down um but i mean you know bandai are going to release a water slide set for this kit so for the time being i'm happy not to paint the kit but I'm going to hold off. I'm going to wait for the water slides. In saying that, though, if you're not a fan and you don't want a gloss coat and water slide and stuff, um, I'm sure the stickers will be fine. Just make sure you use a Q-tip or a cotton button push down on them, as always, and they should probably stay down all right. But for me, I uh, I want to wait for the water slides and have um, you know have a more authentic look, I guess. Other than that, though, the color separation was really awesome. Uh, you know, yellow bits, red, one red bit. Um, the greys, bluey grey, it, it all looks really good. I mean, you can see just looking at it um, right on the front there. I'll zoom in. We've got the cockpit is like a white grey, then you've got the white, white grey on the hips. Uh, yellow pieces are all separate, including the vents and um, inner parts of knee, crotch, stuff like that. So there's about, uh, I think, two two or three different uh white to grays going on around um and there's like a gloss white a dull white an off white gray yellow that it's really good color separation on this kit guys um and like these are uh, the yellow parts in the shoulders here are actually a whole inner frame that goes around the inside of around the inside of the shoulder so yeah it's really good so overall look i'm giving it an eight out of ten Build process. So, like I said in the unboxing, it's not the traditional inner, uh, the RG inner frame that you would assemble. Um, I, don't, I didn't take any pictures or anything of mine, but if we just have a quick look on the inside of the instruction manual, it, that's what it looks like when you assemble as you go. I assembled not in one frame and then attached all the armor. I followed the guide and went as, as it uh, did, but um, it looks like a standard. Um, RG frame when it's all assembled, but instead of it all being in, you know, you cut off the limbs, you cut off, you know, the legs in one assembly, it was all actual parts you assembled yourself. Um, I'm guessing just due to the complexity of the frame, but still full frame, really good, really strong. 
So the build process uh, was slightly different to most RGs, but fun, I enjoyed it. So we're gonna give that one a seven out of 10. Articulation and posing. Now you would have seen in the quick look or first look videos, he was pretty posable. Um, what I will say though, is I had a problem with his head um, popping off a bit, uh, cause um, let's see the face plate comes up a bit there. Um, I'll just put that back down. So the head goes around a bit and you can turn it around, you know, 90 degrees. Uh, there's a collar piece which has, um, sorry for the light flow guys, uh, slight articulation there, up and down. The cockpit will open up. Let me just grab my knife blade because my fat fingers won't get in there. Um, so as most RGs, they have a cockpit. Um, not much to actually uh, to look at um, in inside there. Uh, kind of like a little bench maybe if you had a sitting pilot figure you could stick in there. Um, close it back up. Uh, turning, he'll hit the waist so he doesn't go too, uh, too much around. He does have a good crunch forward, crunch back. Now, uh, these are the same as the Leo kind of, you know, coming off the shoulder with the shield. Slightly different mount, but they do have some, um, you have some movement there. Uh, some movement in the shield um, joint. Then the arms, you could go the whole way around if the verniers weren't on the back, you'll hit those obviously. So um, for the time being, they kind of go up. If you move that all the way up and that's up, you can't really go too high up on the arm there. So he's not getting very good articulation in the, uh, the arms, but that's all right. I mean, that was one thing. Um, He's slightly fiddly. I, I found that things do come off in your hands when you're touching, so just be aware of that one. Okay, uh, mainly it's a lot because you're hitting the verniers on the back. Um, if you move those out, you will be able to do, obviously, some more. in terms of movement. So, it will be slightly um, tight guys. So when it says move it in the guide, be very careful uh, when it says, you know, move this like this way. And there's actually a piece in there at the top. I'm gonna need to disassemble that to move his arm. Let me see if I can make this one work any better. Um, there, there we go. So you can get up there. like that it's just extremely tight and the thing about RG's guys is if you're not careful you can snap stuff so um, work those joints as you're assembling oh, I didn't work this as much as I should have and I'm now paying for it my mistake but uh, he will turn on the arm as well the elbows come up and you've got a um, separate piece there which flips out a bit goes back in place when you move that back. Now, on the uh, legs, you can attach the side skirts to the legs via a peg with a ball joint on it. So when you move the legs, um, you know, they go out like that. And the side skirts have a good amount of rotation in them. Um, if you don't want that peg out, you can actually just push that up into the side skirt. The side skirts have thrusters in them that open up for a flight pose. Same as the back skirts. And they have thrusters in there and they will go all the way up if you're leaning forward. The legs will go up once you move this front skirt up a bit, ankle all the way up. 
the legs, as you saw, he can do a full kneel. Now, watch this. See that? That pops out, full inner frame, good articulation and gimmick of armor movement, armor separation. The ankle being typical RG, you have a few points of movement that will go up like that. So he is fairly well articulated, except for my, uh, you know, bungles where I haven't stretched the joint properly. I'll have to take all the armor off and do that again. So articulation and posing, he's getting a seven out of 10. Accessories, you get the shield, two beam sabers, two beam saber effect parts. Uh, you get the Dover gun. And now the Dover gun has a couple of cool, you know, it can hang. It's got a rotating joint there for that. Uh, it's got a grip which will slide out to be held. Um, it's also got a front grip if he wants to two-hand hold it. Whoops. Let's bring him back, shall we? Uh, you do get a Zex Marquis figure, which I will paint up. I've just outlined it for the moment so you could see a bit of him. Um, the Dober gun. So it has a magazine that you can pull off the back of it. And you can actually push back here and you see that slides out like a reload mechanism. So, how cool is that? Nice. Uh, like a cocking mechanism on a real gun. Uh, and obviously you get the accessories like the sticker sheet as well. Um, that's that's it for the accessories. There are a ton of other hands which I haven't used, but you, that's typical of all RGs. You will get like, you know, you would have seen the first look, you get the open hand. There are the RG hands, which I haven't used this time around. So for accessories, he's getting an eight out of 10. Fun factor. This was a pretty fun kit to build. Um, took a while, I would have said at least four hours. You know, a standard high grade will take me two. Um, this was at least four or five hours. So pretty fun. Uh, 8 out of 10. Final score, 7.6 out of 10. So, fairly good. Um, it's fun, it's articulated, it's good looking, proportionate, colour separated. Comes with a ton of stickers which you can stick on and they don't look too bad, I'm just being pedantic about that. So, overall, definitely a kit you want to buy. Um, it's obviously the year of wing this year um, because we've got the RG Torgis, we've got the HG Leo. Um, who knows, we've also got the uh, the Build Divers Altron, Altron coming out. And I mean, obviously a HG Altron won't be too far behind that. So yeah, it's um, it's really cool. Oh, sorry guys, I've forgotten. I didn't actually, you would have seen them open in the uh, first look video, but the Verniers. Um, so these slightly articulated on a rotating peg you can open them up like that, open them up like that, and then pull that open. They seem a bit fiddly, but they're quite solid. Um, and as you can see now, they do look really good when they're opened up. Um, you can move the thruster bells around uh, on the inside there. Um, that'll go like that. There's a thruster in the bottom. And you can kind of put him on a stand like I had him and had him flying, you know, upwards. Move the verniers side to side. So, really cool. I think I might have him in some kind of landing pose um, with the Dober gun firing upwards. And he has pretty good balance for a back heavy kit, I would have said. So overall, 7.6 out of 10, definitely a kit you want to pick up. Another great addition to the RG line, and I'm really pumped, guys. I can't wait for more RGs. It's uh, it's just one of those lines. I'm a, I'm a 1144 builder, so for me, mini master grades. It's really cool. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for this review. Hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.